I'm going to have to go. I think there was a classical element to what we did together <laughs> in past mm-hmm. lives. Um, but I also feel that there was, there was a primitive tribal thing that, that we tap into uh, in this life. Mm-hmm. So I think, I think it's a combination of classical and tribal uh, rhythm and chant. Interesting. So maybe, uh, maybe it would be something before bands were even recorded to have names, you know, or musical mm-hmm. acts. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Now, um, about Utica, this, like you said, it's your second time here. Um, is there anything that you think in all of the tours that you've done, all the years that you've been touring separates Utica from other cities? Is there any kind of well, different I'm a, I'm vibe? I'm a big fan of chicken riggies. <laughs> so well, I'm all about it. You're all about that. Uh, have you been <laughs> here for the, the Riggy Fest, man? We have a huge No, I, w- I want fest. to, though. Yeah, you should. You should. It's it's already gone this year, but uh, there's uh, tons of people making riggies, tons of people trying riggies. It's a, it's a culture here, those chicken riggies. <laughs> um, now, have you had the Utica Greens yet? That's another one. No, I, ha- I haven't. But the Half Moons are from there, oh, aren't they? Oh, yeah, the Half Moon Cookies. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're a fan. We're a big fan. <laughs> um, so, on all the tours that you've been on, now that we're drifting away from the Utica Riggies, uh, the tours that you've been on, what's uh, what act have you played with? that you've had the most fun with or, you know, uh, the most memorable experience. Heck, even, you know, what tour, what bands have you played with that you feel were absolutely necessary for your evolution as a musician? Well, that's tough because we, we were lucky enough to tour with so many great musicians and bands. You know, we've toured with uh, Robert Plant and Jimmy Page when they did uh, the reunion tour, uh, the I forget what it was called, the No Quarter Tour. Uh, back in 97, I think it was. And then uh, we've done a couple tours of Santana and the Allman Brothers and Grateful Dead. And, you know, we've, we've really been blessed in that way. Um, but I think I'd have to say Robert Plant and Jimmy Page and Santana were the biggest influences on us. Uh, Santana was just a completely open and spiritual human being, so when we would show up for the first day of, of meeting him, he'd be yelling from the stage, hey, come on up, and we'd get off, and we were kind of didn't know what was going on. We'd end up on stage, you know, playing with uh, Santana, and then that night, would, you know, for a show, he'd invite us up on stage for six songs that we never even heard of, and I think even his band didn't know a couple of them, so he was just... But at the same time, he was very in control of the situation. He would he would know what what kind of musicians we were. He he, he knew what we were capable of, and the songs that he picked were unfamiliar to us. But he knew we could handle it. But he also knew that we would be scared out of our minds. <laughs> <laughs> I I, so I got to He's a great you. teacher. He would bring things out of you that were just like you didn't you didn't even know were there. So I think for each of us, that was a great learning experience. That is so cool. I mean, to be on stage with, with names like Santana, I mean, Robert Plant and Jimmy Page, wow. I, I don't even know if I could get within five feet of them without starting to shake, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's, right. It's, those are intimidating presences just because, you know, they're masters of their craft. And uh, I, could you tell us just a little bit more about what that was like to be there? You know, Robert Plant, Jimmy Page, I mean, one of the greatest rock bands of all time in a lot of people's opinions. You know, and all the history behind. You know, I mean, wow, what was that like? Well, when we when we did that tour with them, we were real young and uh, naive, and you know, so I thought when when they showed up, they would be riding uh, white horses and <laughs> you know, uh, whatever, <laughs> you know. But they were completely down to earth, and uh, you know, especially Robert. I think the first day he. He came out and talked to us. On, we were sitting on a on a hillside near the amphitheater or or near the uh, arena that we were doing, and um, he just like soon after just fell asleep in the sun, and <laughs> <you know? laughs> we were just like go, oh. <laughs> it was just like totally relaxed. And then um, 
you know, there was a point where I think he, it was, we were about a month into it and he lost his voice and you could, I could see that he was real nervous and I was real into like herbal healing and, and sort of energetic healing and stuff at the time. And, and so I went up to him and I was talking to him and he was, he, he had chosen our band, I think, because we had that kind of vibe. We had that kind of healing music kind of vibe. And I think he had like mentioned that we had kind of like a shamanistic kind of vibe to our sound. And, and so he was real open to hearing suggestions from us. And so I I made him this necklace, this, this copper bead necklace and, and just said, you know, this is going to help you open up because I could see just through his fear that he was holding his shoulders real tight and stuff. And, and that night he went out on stage and he sang like a little kid, like he was just running around and, <laughs> and totally open and, and singing. Like, I think it was the best night he sang the whole tour and he came back and he was running around and just smiling. And, and it just made me feel so good, you know, that when you come down, when it all comes down to it, we're just human beings and we're just here to help each other. And, and we all can help each other. And I could even help Robert Plant. Holy cow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? right? Like, I'd be there going like, oh, my God, that's my necklace. That's my necklace he's wearing. I mean, that's mine. Yeah, you know, I, I think, I don't even know. I can't even wrap my mind around it, but I think it's awesome. And 